second, Regency O'Hare. And if you don't know, I'm about to tell you. Seeing planes come in and take off just makes me all giddy inside. And um, I think how, I think it's just amazing how um, God knows that, of course. And how out of all rooms that I could have gotten in this hotel, this one had my name on it. Literally, I can lay down on this king-size bed and see planes land and take off. My whole stay here. That's amazing that God cares about the little, the, just the little details. The little details he cares about. It's beautiful. So, some of you um, probably don't know why I'm here in Chicago, but I am here for the Life Without Limits experience by Dr. Tiffany K. Jordan Ministries. Um, if you watch my last video about um, prayer, then you would have heard me mention her book called Just, uh, Just Pray. So, that's what's happening this weekend. Uh, she's here well, she lives here and goes to church here and teach here in Chicago, Illinois. And um, she goes to, well, y'all don't even know all that. If you, you find out by Googling her if you want to know more. But, so tonight is the first night. Um, it starts at, doors open at 6. And it's free to the public for those who actually registered before October 15th cutoff. And tonight will be the um, night of prayer like pray and praise and worship. And then tomorrow is a full day. Like I thought I was going to, you know, have a whole bunch of free time to um, be a tourist and see some of the things that some of y'all recommended and um, that I also saw being recommended on other YouTubers' blogs, um, those who actually stay here in Chicago. But tomorrow is a full day. It says from Saturday. So tomorrow is going to be from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So <laughs> 8, 9, yeah. The only break will be dinner break, 4.30 to 6.30. But I already know that's not going to... That's gonna be enough after that's it's gonna be a tiring day so at first I was like yeah I can go ahead and squeeze in um, go see something but y'all the traffic here the traffic here is worse than DC Maryland and Virginia in particular DC and Virginia terrible terrible I think Chicago tops it like I'm looking at now one of the highways has been backed up since I don't know what highway that is but they just backed up that might be the one that I was on I think that is the one that is the one that I was on that's freaking 90 90 and 94 I don't understand it it's ridiculous People can't drive here. They're speed demons. 9094, the speed limit is 55. Tell me why I was speeding, doing like 70, 75, and even a little bit of 80, because that's like my daily speed. Um, and people was passing me up. Speed limit 55. I'm doing 80. People passing me doing 95. I was like, do y'all not have cops here? Oh, that's right. They tend into them other criminal activities. Speaking of criminal activities, don't nobody have no license plate on their uh, car. There's just a lot of criminal activity going on. And you don't want none of them people nowhere near you on the road. Because clearly they, they hiding something. But yeah, so Chicago is very ghetto. Um, no, I'm not apologizing to those of you who live in Chicago or are from Chicago and watch my channel. Chicago is very ghetto. Very ghetto. 
I don't have any uh, desire to return after this trip. <laughs> Period. Y'all, the, the airport is nice though. Very large, but nice. But I drove in. But I did, uh, like I said before, I flew into the airport um, years ago. But um, anyway, back to the itinerary. And then on Sunday, I'm going to end up leaving early because I since I drove there's one part of my trip that I don't want to be on when it's dark because deer were there during the daylight so I know good and well they playing in the highway they playing in the middle of the highway at night and I don't I don't I don't do that mm -mm. so I'm definitely gonna be leaving here probably like noon or one o'clock uh it ends at three though but I'm not staying into that thankfully all of the guest speakers speak uh, between 10 30 and one o'clock and one o'clock is the lunch break so on the lunch break um i'm getting out of here um but i'm excited for this whole trip as far as what i am going to learn how it changes me it is a uh what do you call it it's a christian gathering for people in the marketplace meaning people who are called to business so all of the entrepreneurs business owners those of us who are here and seeing how um god is using us and moving us through the marketplace uh yeah so i'll be back probably with the update um I was going to do a room tour, but just know the best thing of the room is this view and this bed. But until then. Hey, y'all. I know it's dark, but let's get that sunset real quick. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. Planes just been taking off all day from my side. And oh, again, I love it. Okay, so back to me. Today has been amazing. Today was the second day of Life Without Limits experience. And um, it was the day of teaching that the teaching started. Um, the last session for today starts in less than an hour. And that will be on deliverance by... Um, with Pastor Bev going around delivering people. Well, laying hands on people and God would be delivering them. But um the teaching, the teaching, the teaching, the teaching today was about vision without limits, um, mastering your mindset, and as well as knowing when the Holy Spirit is leading you. Y'all, God spoke to me today. I mean, he he always been speaking through my life, but today was the day that I can finally have confidence and say that I heard God. I heard God. I heard God speak to me. And yeah, it was amazing. And I can't wait to have that experience again and the way that you continue to have such experiences is by again as I said in my other video about developing that relationship daily with the Lord through prayer and meditating on his word um, yeah I'm just I'm, I'm excited for the place I am at in my life and where I'm going where God is taking me and it's just amazing that's all I have to say. Um, I got a swag bag. This lighting is going to be terrible. I'm sorry. I guess I should turn on the light. See, a plane go taking off right now. Where is it at? You see it? Right there. I can't zoom in from this view, but it's right there. Where the curtain's at. It's going past the curtains now. Okay. Okay, so let me turn on the light. 
Let There Be Light. Um, ooh, we now. Also, people can hear me because I can hear them, so I know they can hear me. Y'all subscribe to my channel, Shari Nicole. Um, but yeah, so the swag bag. I end up buying a mask that says, just pray. Um, I need to set my phone down because my arm is hurting. All right, so let's set this phone up. Sorry. Oh, ciao, yes. Okay. I might turn on the lamp behind me. Let's do that. Is just pray. That other light kind of messed up my glow. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm turning that light back on. But I'm also waiting on my food. I ordered um some ribs. Yeah, I ordered some ribs. <laughs> look at look at look at it, Glory. Beautiful. Okay, so I got this shirt, Business Without Limits, and then these two, black and white, and it just says, um, just pray. So I got those three shirts. This came with the swag bag, just pray. Once again, her ministry is called Tiffany K. Jordan Ministries. Well, Tiffany Jordan Ministries. And we got pens. Guess what? With the stylus, baby. I be needing the stylus. Especially when I'm messing with my iPad. Can't go wrong, go wrong with some Lysol. And then we got a little, our daily bread devotional. This is good to have. Again, meditating on scripture, on God's word daily. So, you can start off with a pre-printed devotional until you are able to um, write down your own scriptures that are specifically for you at your time in whatever season of life you're in to meditate on. And then the prayer journal. And then this one is just a blank regular notepad journal and then um this was the this is the event that i'm attending if y'all want to know more um she has a trailblazers event coming up you can sign up by going to the trailblazers retreat.com it will be sometime next year. And it's going to be on a beautiful island somewhere. And also, if you're interested in discipleship, coaching, and mentorship, and just being renewed, getting down to the root of trauma. We spoke about that a lot today, about um, and even yesterday. Like, a lot of people can't see. We got blinders on. We can't see what God wants us to see because of past trauma past hurts that we're holding on and it's like a tree that's grown and our eyes are behind that tree like you know how trees give shade so the tree bushiness is blocking our vision and we can't see what god wants us to see so compass university google it it's www.compassuniversity.com if you sign up today I don't know if it's $97 for y'all or if that's just for those of us who attended this thing that might be our discount I don't know what the regular amount is so that don't matter like I said if you're interested if any of that intrigued you you can do your further research and go check out the website um
But yeah, y'all, where are my notebook? Cause let's talk. Let's talk. So some things that was covered before my phone better be y'all know y'all know how Apple be when it's talking about memory and space. But one of the things was um your thoughts. So it says what do I what do I want to share with y'all? Lord, what do I need to share with the world on YouTube? Okay, so the word of God has everything that we all need to live a life without limits. Everyone needs to ask God. Who am I? What am I here to do? And who are you? As in, who are you, God? Because you need to find out, why were you created? What is your purpose? What is your purpose? Why would you want to die not doing the thing that you were created for? That's foolishness. To just live life doing whatever you think you're supposed to be doing and not connecting with your manufacturer aka your creator aka god to see what why he brought you here why he allowed you to be birth so seek god first get an understanding of your purpose let him tell you what you're supposed to be doing um, we learned about assignments, that assignments are temporary, so don't get attached to that assignment because it leads you to your purpose. It takes you on that journey of reaching and becoming who you were created to be. You need to ask God, what is your mandate? Everyone has one. It's a command to act or be a solution for humanity given by God you need to find out your mission this is an important goal or purpose accompanied by a strong conviction so whether you have a passion a strong conviction for homelessness um, women who've been abused drug addicts that kind of situation then you need to find your message what is the message whatever the message is it has to be consistent well it will be consistent and line up with your mandate and your mission and then you will be a messenger yeah my food on the way you will be a messenger the sent one carrying the message and it will be your matter of duty so that was that part we learned about you need to, you need to know your purpose everybody needs to know their purpose and then the other one was recognizing the leading of the Holy Spirit and this was by minister John King he was amazing I really like him he actually has a book out called um, I think it said rebellious child or something about rebellious children um, but he experienced that with his own son and for those of you who have kids who are rebellious or just out in this world doing dangerous things, um, you should check out him. His name is Minister John King. So Google him. Uh, I will, as I find out more information, I will post any links in the description box below. But his thing was, so it says the Holy Spirit will lead us on the path we should go because, where was that part at? Basically, God knew our purpose. He knew us before we were even formed in our mother's womb. So he's going to know everything. He has the answer. God is the answer. So it says Hebrews 8, 10 through 11. 
Um, he has the plan from, from the beginning. It's been written on our hearts. And he will give me the desires of my heart. And those desires are his desires that he written on your heart. It's not, let me go get a, a Lord, I want a Ferrari. Uh, that's my desire. Now give me my Ferrari. That's not, it's deeper than that. Um, it says, so the things I desire, God put it in my heart. He gave me the desires. And then we're just talking about discerning the voice between God and Satan. Because there are two sources of our thoughts. And that's Satan or God. So, God's, when God is speaking to us, it's going to match up with his word. It's going to be, it's going to bring peace. When Satan is speaking to us, it's going to be questions. It's going to be making us feel shame, making us feel bad and beating ourselves up and what else and when those negative thoughts come when thoughts from the enemy comes we need to cast them down immediately do not be passive about it do not just sweep it under the rug because those seeds first start in your mind and then they'll eventually get down to your heart and once they get down to your heart they take root so again thinking about trees being planted anything that's not of God needs to be cut out it needs to be destroyed and the way that gets destroyed is by prayer and meditating on the word of God and doing your duty binding those things in darkness casting those things down those negative thoughts and then replacing it with the word of God So, they mentioned that a lot of stuff that God wants to do in us, like again, like I said, with the blinders, you have your blinders on because of past trauma. Some people have blinders on because of the condition of their heart. So, whether it's what somebody said to you, it just wounded you and you, you still carry that. Um, for an example, somebody had mentioned Dr. Tiffany was doing a, uh, a couple wanted to get married and they wanted her to officiate it, but she sends off, she don't just marry couples just because they say they want to get married. They're going to be delivered from everything on his mom and dad's side and everything on her mom and dad's side that has affected them individually because you don't want to bring that into no marriage. No, you need to be healthy, whole, and everything needs to be pure um so she mentioned that uh she had brought up submission how the word says in ephesians 5 22 to 33 about wives submit to your husbands as you submit to god and she said i'll say anything in my vow but i'm not saying submit like she got angry she really turned into um it was a demonic possession kind of thing because she started growling dr tiffany said and um the reason why she felt that way about the word submit why it triggered her so much is because as a little girl she saw her aunt submitting to an abusive husband so she had that negative imagery 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 <laughs> that negative image of what submission is and that's not what submission is so that was the condition of her heart that all that stuff has to be out like and some things need to be out by uh well everything need to be out by deliverance we all need to be delivered from something but um while i was saying that i was something i was gonna say something else it was good too mm. that's what it was the image so it says we live from the inside out and vision sets boundaries around our life we cannot have what we cannot see your thoughts create your life the things that you have a desire of remember God's put those desires in you they keep coming up um, it's already a reality now you just have to get yourself to the point of seeing it and you have to be intentional about it 
Uh, so, vision boards. Everybody heard of vision boards. So you have to put your vision on paper with an image because where was that um where was that because we live by pictures and what you focus on becomes a reality so Dr. Tiffany says she has her vision written out for 50 for the next 50 years of her life here, I, here we are, we just thinking about the next month or just a year. This lady says she got 50 years of her life planned out. I'm like, whew, I ain't even thinking that far. I need to expand my thinking. I need to expand my vision. Um, and it's that breakdown. Break it down by category. So you want to list your finances, your health, everything in your every area of your life needs to have a vision. Um, grow the image that you want to see. You're not going where you can't see. If you don't have a vision, then where are you going? You out here all blind. Uh, vision gives you a roadmap to walk out your purpose. And the whole manifestation process is having an image of what you want to see. And then it says the timing of it is determined by God. You don't need to know the schedule. Just know if God gave you that desire and gave you that vision, write it down, make it plain, like Habakkuk, Habakkuk, how you say it? Three, two says, write the vision and make it plain. And then, um, just wait on God. Expect. We pray in expectancy. We write the vision in expectancy. You should expect what you see and believe. And that's another thing about believing. A lot of people believe in God, which is the bare minimum. But we need to believe God. So if God says you can be healed, well, not can be. If God says you are healed, because he said, I am the Lord who heals thee, then you need to believe that you are healed. You don't need to believe in the word only you need to actually believe that God said you are healed so take your healing so um yeah y'all this experience was just amazing like she's gonna be doing this was first of many um so if any of this interests you follow her on social media Dr. Tiffany K. Jordan on Instagram and on Facebook um and subscribe to her channel on YouTube because she do a lot of lives um uh, yeah just sign up for the next one because you don't want to miss it men and women okay especially if you're called to the marketplace if you're a business owner entrepreneur the calling of her life is for us so i'll check in with y'all on the third day of the event peace Hey y'all, so I'm just coming in to wrap up this vlog of going to Chicago. I have another video that I had wrapped up when I was um, had just made it to my halfway point uh, to get to getting back to San Antonio, but I kept yawning so much in that video, um, and the angles weren't that cute, so we're just gonna leave it here. Overall, Chicago, um, the actual conference that I was there for was amazing definitely had visitations from God on all days the last day was um, about love and marriage or for single people relationships how to build godly healthy relationships um, I will tag all those speakers in the description box below so you can um, do your own investigation or just research on following those people and if their content resonates with your spirit then it will um it would definitely be great for you um but other than that y'all stay tuned for other videos um more notary videos coming as well as a surprise but i'm not gonna mention it yet but um 
yeah, stay tuned. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting my channel. Make sure you comment if you have something to say, something to add. I know I said I was not going to be going back to Chicago because I felt it was very ghetto and, um, yeah, it was, it was on the wild side. But I would actually like to go back since I didn't have time to be a tourist, but I would like to go back, fly in, and um, explore the great parts of Chicago, um, eat at some of the popular eateries, etc. But who knows when that will be? Um, but it is on the list to do. But other than that, I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.